go under his towers with my skirmishers anyway. Ooh, and this time, guys, I have one of the best sips of the game, especially for the 1v1 meta. I have these labs, and these labs they do have a very, very good economy, good farm economy, and he does have the Koreans. Mm. Having the Koreans, oh. Well, he just came straight forward to me, and I had this a rush going there to buy me some time. I don't know, slabs against Koreans, I would give it to the slabs. I think that the biggest issue is if he manages to to get my mo most important resources using the towers. This way, he could deny my my player slabs to be a good one. I'm gonna bet in this lab's weapons, in this lab's economy, so I'm going to try playing, making a lot of farms, going for food units such as the scouts, such as the skirmishers. Uh, what, what, I, I, I'm, one thing that I don't agree much is going like archers with the slabs, unless you are going to use the farms to have some boost and go for frozen or something, just regular archers make no sense, you are just gonna delay your farms instead of taking advantage of it. That's uh, something that I have seen some players do. That I personally don't agree. Maybe there's uh, another side of the of this situation that might make it viable or a good strategy, but I don't see it. Anyway, I have to ruin the wood. I'm going for the first boar. Wars coming home. Scout still doing his job. Let's let's make a, a, a challenge this game. Huh? You know, Viper does challenge. Like, okay, I'm going to do this guy only with skirmishers. It's a follow. I'm going to go uh, for trash unit only. We're going to do a challenge as well. The challenge here will be not to lose my scout to the TC. <laughs> Such a pro challenger. Because I already did it two times today. Just not screwing up is a big challenge for me. All those minerals are here on this side. This makes me so fucking uncomfortable. Uh, this is like a, 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 this is like yelling. Okay, come and tower me. That's how I I, I read it. And what I'm going to do, I'll try to make... Oh crap! Go scout, save the view! Save the view, save the... No, 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 no. Crap! What the fuck you moron? Why didn't you save the villager? What the fuck are you thinking dude? You were supposed to save the view, we screwed her! Damn! What this fucker did man? Unbelievable. I can't believe the shit I see sometimes. Damn, that was bad. That was so fucking bad. Anyway, I have the option of making uh, farms on Dark Age, which is usually something that you uh, don't want to do with most of the sieves, but as I was saying, slabs are different, they are just like a new sieve, they are not like the others, you know. So what I'm trying to do here, oh no, we are going to miss the challenge, no, no, we are gonna do it guys. Ooh, for 6 HP, we are actually making the challenge here. Yeah. Damn it. This channel so sucks, man. Unbelievable. People do the challenge like, okay, let's kill uh, enemy before 10 minute mark. 
let's do things like this and I'm here just trying not to get fucked up by my own self damn <laughs> yeah 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 I get it screw you You guys might be asking why I'm doing the the lumber camp like this. Well, it's quite simple. If he tries to tower me here, I will be able to see it coming and to react. If I had the lumber camp here, he could just tower my back and I wouldn't see it happening, you know. So that's basically it. I'm just adding some outposts to expect already for a tower rush. If this guy don't tower rush me, this is going to be one of the best mind games ever. And I'm totally missing out the point that I should have a bar barracks here. I'm also doing the town rush first. It's an upgrade that allows your line of sight to be improved. Oh, and he's coming for militias. That's amazing. Oh, and here he's bringing the towers. Damn, and those militias are going to screw me over. Crap. That was a bad tower. Mm, that was a total bad tower. Crap. I don't like what I'm doing here. I don't feel like I'm doing a good job. I have to protect this area, but I'm failing. He's just advancing with his men at arms, with his stuff. If I make if I make a tower to protect these golds. I will be in a good position. That's what I need to do here. Food, please. Oh crap, he's also making spearmen. That's not gonna be good. Well, I can even lose the gold. That's okay, that's alright, that's okay. N doesn't matter if I lose the gold. I can have I can save the gold here on the back. What I will try to do here is to buy time to mass scouts and to make the tower. Oh crap, it's coming here. I'm losing my ground. But it's better to just allow him to have it for now. Now it's the time to, to react. Oh crap, this is going to be a nightmare. Ah, oh, come on. That's a fucking nightmare. Well, I stopped his advance at least. I can see something positive out of it. Oh, 
is running for the back tower. That's all right. That is mowing. Now it's time to expand my farms here. Expand it. Oh no. He's making a house. Maybe he'll try to come for the other way. Down, bitch. Yeah, that's all right. Calm down. Farms are growing. He's making towers with some very questionable purpose here. more important to sacrifice my stone than going for the for his base now but he's making a lot of spearmen which might get things a bit more complicated than they should I will try to snipe out some views look at that the spearmen weren't close enough, maybe I would get even two views. Yep, two villagers down. That's a small wing, because I have already lost two views, so I actually just make things even here. I can make a tower here to protect my stone. But there isn't much gain from it. He has a lot of spearmen, he's advancing. Now it's time to counterattack his base. And I have the chance of going castle first, even after all the shit that happened here because of the slabs bonus. So. That's the good part. Even after everything, I still might be able to reach Castle Age first. Not sure, but there's a chance. He's making more towers. <laughs> you have a cheat sip, yeah, man. You were not wrong. Oh, and his base is well protected. See? This guy. It's just not a regular guy. He's a smart guy. I don't trust that those two villagers alone are going to make all the, the mess, man. One, two, three, four, five, six towers, seven towers. Yeah, that's, a, that's annoying. A very annoying sight. I'll make some houses here to difficult, make it more difficult for him to sneak villagers. And he's making more and more spearmen. He seems so prepared for what's happening here. I'll try to get uh, these towers off here. This might not work, but if he does, if it does, it's going to be great for me. Basically, I'm going to upgrade the armor of the knights, so they can stay more time under the towers. I'm not going to lose time, I'm, I'm already going to make some... Oh, some battering runs, he's cast away already. I thought that I would have like one minute 
to use for myself, but it was just a drink. And he's already attacking my, my towers here, you know? That's the, 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 the struggle. If I don't react quickly, he might be able to deny everything. Tower's going down. Oh, the repairer has extended no chance. There's a pikeman coming to help. Two pikemen actually. Your sacrifice will be remembered, my fellow scouts. Your sacrifice will be remembered. again no oh, crap don't die don't die just don't die no 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 if I get rid of those towers the game is going to be mine. He's sending pikemen after pikemen, but very slowly. And I think that I, I will be able to get rid of all the towers before he can actually manage to to do something the runs are absorbing the damage I'm re reeling the injured knights and if I didn't drop he probably did we're going to save but I'm feeling that this game is going to a very good uh, direction for me I actually have uh, nine knights two scouts three battering runs I can only see one pikeman Ripstring? No. I'm still here. <laughs> and we're going to save and expect this guy to come back. situation was very promising that's how he don't play bad though yeah he don't uh, I like the strategy that he did uh, he did make some men at arms and had his scout alive 
in order to protect his villagers for the first tower and then he just kept making the towers uh, there's there was uh, two things that could help uh, his game there first thing is that all my stones and goats with three towers he could block all of them so with three perfect towers man with three perfect towers he could deny all the stone and goat and that's where the slabs could win the game you know you just deny ev everything and then you just keep making uh, more towers to defend yourself don't allow your economy to get killed and that's it how are we saying? <laughs> I'm fine man I don't know if this guy is gonna get back here not sure well he just get out of Ubli he's probably coming back Não, sai fora, meus ideias. Uh, he's not getting back here. Fuck, man. He said sorry. No, 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 feel sorry, man. Shit happens. Do you think Classic probably win uh, Sparring Experts? Uh, is he in the finals? I thought that uh, Golden End and Bilge and the Pleb were there. Those fuckers, man, can't believe they did it. They didn't do it. Who are in the finals? Janela, Ibi, tamo calor. Fecho. We are going to restore the game. Oh, yeah, Belgian Golden and you see? Those plebs, man, they just came here on this stream, they get their, their FS beaten, and they watch me, so that's the, the reason they are in the finals, you know. Classic pro could be, but he's not watching me, so that, that's how it works. I think that uh, what, I, what we can conclude here is that either uh, Bilgen or Golden and Wings uh, it's one of those fuckers, man, so that's the conclusion. <gasps> Bro, shit! There are two mangoes here. I wasn't seeing that. Holy moly. Towers, huh? Annoying little freak. game changer here is that I'm not losing so many knights because of the monks. This in my opinion is what's making the difference. This lone monk is responsible for me being alive here. Get the 
rid of this shit. Well, I, I was in a terrible position. Before. Now I feel that I'm in a very, very comfortable one. to add more to C's and some meals this Zico develops so fast that I'm not even able to to keep up with the, its speed here that's, that's just amazing it's time to go imp already man who thought of that And now I have the siege, now I have the knights. All his stone has been wasted. If you guys are going to make a TC to protect a resource, make like this, so the enemy will find your town center first and your villagers. Uh, that's how I like to build things. It usually works fine for me. Uh, I was expecting to, for this fight to happen. I think that he's probably gonna GG. Once you see that I am on pure age, I think that he's gonna GG. That's my bet. No, I was wrong. I already like this guy a lot for having this fighting spirit. Yeah, I became a fun already. Eh? Anyway, I still like how the situation is going for me. I have all my gold saved. I have now the eco, the Imperial Age eco upgrades. Three relics. Finish into upgrading infantry. Will soon be able to place a castle. He is also on the Imperial Age now, so well, we can talk about the, how things are going to go now. And he was making the wagons. Food, please. Oh, I will have four relics if I manage to do this. Look how great this is, huh? 
I'm gonna have four relics. So relic advantage is also a thing for me. Please. Squarman means nothing. I don't even look at it. You shouldn't either. A bad decision could switch that scout that score. I find I, I believe that it's a mistake to judge how the game's going by the, by the score. I'm not confident as you guys are. Hmm. I'm about to make Drusina. Also very open and my woods expose it. That can be a problem. Time to spend the infantry. Oh, and he's developing good here. Look how he's developing. I truly like the way he is developing. I don't have a university. Word saves this labs. Look at that. I have upgraded Halberdiers with Rosina. That's so, so, so much of my fight. Can't take this fight and wing it. The knights are being able to deal with the... With the Wagons, the Halberdiers are advancing. I'm even upgrading Champion, just in case I get in some bad spots. Oh, Onagers, I do like that. I'm going to tower the Korean. Might sound stupid, but that's what I'm going to do. Crap, man. The onagers are making difference here in this fight. Champion time. Terrible spot now. This dude truly believes his game, John. I'm respecting this guy. Try to fight these labs with full infantry on the Imperial Age. That's hard. That's a hard task. Uh, I think that for these labs, the best combination they can do is run and an infantry on the Imperial Age, and that's what I was doing. Siege and infantry. Sorry. So my plan was to use the halberdiers and and then siege runs. 
but since he was trying to stop me with full halves, even with the power of Tujuzina, I thought that using my gold with champions would also be a good idea. I still had uh, a relic advantage, I still had plenty of gold to eat, so that was an okay decision. Uh, he did have the corners, he did have the two corners, he only had one relic. I was about to rush into the uh, bottom corner, the top one I would just protect. I wouldn't rush in this one, this would be his last stand probably. And he said, good game, GG. Good game and GG my friend. Game and GG.